Hey everybody, this is Brian Koss and welcome to the Koss Creative Podcast. everybody i am your host brian cost thank you so much for uh for coming on here and listening uh again i'm really kind of new to all this uh so this before we get started th- this whole episode is the top five things you have to do in order to have a perfect engagement session so that's what this whole video is about but what i wanted to tell everybody is we are doing a a video podcast. So those of you who are listening, I really encourage you to follow me on YouTube, Facebook. Um, We're trying to get Instagram on there, but they're being kind of tricky with their uh, whole streaming rights and and everything else. Uh, But if you're just listening to this, thank you so much. It it really means a lot to me. Um, I actually have a thing on there now uh, where you can actually support the page. Uh, So it's only $3 a month. That's it. And it would absolutely mean the world to me. It helps me keep this channel going. Um, and also just it's going to uh, just aid and help me be able to uh, provide for my family, my wife, and my two little boys. Um, so, yeah, so all the thanks, really. It, it means a lot to me. So, yeah, 3 bucks a month. That's it. Um, so, yeah, let's kind of get into it, okay? So the top five things. What are we going to do? So when you have an engagement session with your photographer, hopefully you are communicating with him or her and just kind of getting a feel for the day and what it's going to be like. Uh, If your photographer is a little inexperienced, then here's a a few little tips and tricks that will help you kind of maximize your engagement session. Okay. First, brides, I want to talk to you. Go out and get your hair and makeup done, okay? This is the best time to do it, right? I mean, it gives you a reason to, you know, go out and get all gussied up and and looking good, right? So go out and get your hair and makeup done. This is going to be so important. You you really have to do this, okay? Why? Because for the photographer, it's just going to make his job that much easier, right? If the hair is done up and it looks really good, oh my gosh, right? Like, it's just... It's perfect. And then when you have professional makeup done, it, as far as like retouching goes, pretty much like zero retouching has to (laughs) occur. Uh, But it's just, it's just going to make you look way more attractive, way more presentable. It's going to make the photographs just look that much better too. So brides, go out there and get your hair and makeup done. It, It really will help you out. And plus, if you're still looking for like hair and makeup people for your wedding, this is actually a perfect way to kind of test the waters a little bit and kind of see who's good, who's not. And, you know, just if you vibe well with them. So I really think getting hair and makeup done for your engagement session is absolutely crucial. Okay. Kind of piggybacking off that grooms talking to you now. Okay. No, I'm not going to ask you to go get your hair and makeup done either. But what I do want you to do, or just at least be mindful is like the day of or the day before, don't go out and get a whole bunch of sun and get all red and splotchy. Or if you're going to the gym and you got to tan after the gym, you know, after your workout or before, don't do it. Okay. Don't go out and don't, don't go tanning. And brides, this kind of applies to you too. Don't go out in the sun and like get super burnt or don't go to the tanning bed. Okay, you will literally come out looking orange or even spray tans. Spray tans are the worst. Okay, I understand the the health benefits of a spray tan and and all that. Like, oh, it looks so natural, maybe to the human eye. But when we're photographing you, our sensors and our cameras don't react the same way that our eyes do. So when you're getting that spray tan and we're shooting you, you're going to look orange in our camera and it's really hard to correct orange in a photograph. So brides, no spray tans, no tans, grooms, uh, just don't go out and, and get red. And another thing too, like a lot of times guys will have their sunglasses on and then when they take them off after they've been out in the sun, you know, maybe out playing golf, 
you know, slowest sport ever. Sorry, not not throwing shade on the on the sport, but it's just it's a joke. Cracks me up. Uh, but you get these lines, these little tan lines going across your head or across your face, like around your temple. Don't do that. It doesn't look good. Okay. And for the love of God, do not wear a hat at your engagement or even before your engagement, because then you're going to get like, okay, see, I'm wearing a hat. And actually I did this on purpose. Like when you wear a hat, you're going to get the little like line across your forehead, right? It's terrible. You don't want to do that. And then you take your hat off like, oh, I wasn't wearing a hat for the engagement. Dude, we can see the imprint on your forehead. So don't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, just be natural. Just kind of be yourself. But, you know, kind of take a few extra steps to make yourself look good. Okay. And that leads me into the second must that you have to do is dress up. This is your engagement. This is a one-time deal. Let's do it right. So brides, back to you. Okay. Ladies first, go out, get yourself two outfits. Okay. The first one needs to be a really dressy outfit. All right. And by dressy, I mean like knock your socks off. Let's stop traffic kind of outfit. Okay. Really like go out. This is something special and, and get a really nice dressy outfit for your engagement. Okay. Grooms, you got to do it too. Go with your bride to be. Okay. Have her help you go shopping. If you're not the, the shopping type. Okay. I am. I'm, I'm a little bit of an exception. I love shopping. If I can shop all the time, I would. Um, it's terrible. But I digress. So, grooms, go with your bride-to-be. Have her help you find an outfit, a dressy outfit, that's going to complement hers. Okay? You don't want to be polar opposites looking good. You, you, you want to kind of mesh well together. I'm not saying you have to have matching outfits because then that's going to look kind of weird. But you want to have at least an outfit that's going to complement your bride. Okay, so on the dressy option, that's what you want to do. The second option is something a little more casual, but not like super casual, like Sunday afternoon watching sports casual. You want it to be kind of a dressy casual. Okay, I've seen some couples do where they'll have their dressy outfit and then they'll just kind of mix it up a little bit, you know, maybe like slide some jeans on or something. And they're kind of dressing down their same look which is completely fine. And I actually like that kind of saves on that whole transition going from dressy to casual, but you, you want something that still looks nice. Okay. Now this is not the time to experiment on something new. Okay. It's not, your, not the time to, you know, try new style or new trend. And that's, that's another thing. Stay away from trendy type stuff. You want something that's going to be a little more classic, something that's going to stand the test of time. You don't want to look back on these engagement photos and go, what was I thinking? Why did I wear that? You know, you know how there's some outfits out there that you can actually see the the look and you can know the decade or you know the the style like, oh, that's early 2000s or that's that's 2010s or you, you know what I mean? Like, don't do that. Try to you know, find something that is going to kind of last a while. Okay. It's, it's got, <laughs> it's got to help you out. I promise. Okay. The third thing is locations. This might be one of the most important points. Okay. Your location is going to set the whole mood for your engagement. Okay. Got to make sure I look at the camera here. You know, I'm so used to just talking into the, the microphone here. I forget, like, the camera's even on. So, anyways, you know, like, all you people, you know, got to watch on, you know, this live now. Or, you know, later on, you're like, why is he not looking at the camera? My bad. Destinations. Destinations are huge, okay? I prefer nostalgic locations, right? What do I mean by that? First kiss. First date. The first I love you. Um, maybe you two have like a pastime. So I know there's like some bars that will do um, like trivia games. If you guys are into like trivia, like name this commercial or, or whatever the case may be. Little places that, you know, kind of describe you two and just kind of make you two who you are. 
that's where I want to shoot. That's where you need to be. That's what's going to kind of set the whole mood and really kind of make your engagement session unique to you and not just like every other engagement session, right? We don't want to do that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm saying if you have spots like that, let's use those spots, okay? At least the first kiss and the first I love you, like that spark that really kind of got the whole fire going, like where did that happen? Let's go there. Let's do that, okay? That's going to make it look so much better. If you can't think of those spots or if they're just really anticlimactic, hey, that's fine. Um, then I really recommend it's kind of like a default like overall look, either a city look or a outdoorsy, woodsy, tall grass kind of look. And you can have both. If wherever you're shooting from, if you're able to accommodate both types of locations, then I would do that. And I would choose the city look for your dressy look, right? Because when you're in the city, dressy just kind of seems to, to go well. Like if you're going to work, you're dressed up or there's like some kind of high-end event that you're going to, um, some kind of party or ball, like you're dressing up for it. It's usually typically in the city. So that works. Where your casual look, and remember, not too casual, but that's going to accommodate your, your outdoorsy look a little bit, okay? So if you're doing something like in the woods, tall trees, tall grass, um, possibly like a beach or something like that, that'd look really cool. But you want that to be kind of more more casual look. Um, and just off the cuff here, you know, I'm just kind of thinking like a dressy up look at a beach would be kind of cool, actually. So but dress down a little bit. Right. So like maybe the bride takes her shoes off. Right. And she's holding them or the guy's holding them or maybe he's taking his jacket off and puts it around her. You know, when the sun's going down, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just coming up with this idea. So this would be perfect. Like if you're on the beach and let's say you have a dressy outfit, you could totally do that. That would totally work. It really would. He could take the jacket off, put it around the bride. Maybe he's even holding the shoes, you know, really scoring some man points here. I think that would work out really well. Okay, so mix it up a little bit. And having these scenes is really going to give you a whole lot of variety and it's just going to work that much better right the fourth point is a little unconventional but I like it is have a drink like I'm not like saying you gotta go out and get drunk but have a drink take the edge off a little bit and even invite your photographer hint hint like I would love to have a drink with you um there's a little bit of like a a met what's how do you say that Method to my madness. There you go. Uh, when you have a drink and you're kind of taking the edge off and you invite your photographer, you guys are just kind of chilling, right? You're just getting to know each other. It's in a really relaxed setting. You guys are having fun. You're chit-chatting. You're laughing. It's just going to make that session that much easier and that much more comfortable. Okay? So you followed all these rules, right? You got your hair and makeup done. You got your, your outfits. You got the perfect location. But if you're uncomfortable, <laughs> it's going to show up, right? I don't care how great your hair and makeup looks. I don't care how dressed up the groom is. If you're uncomfortable, you're going to look uncomfortable. And there's nothing we can do to fix that. Um, that's why going out and having a drink, having a conversation with your photographer, just kind of getting to know, know him or her in a really casual no camera setting, it's got to help you out. It really will. Okay. So just kind of sit back, you know, I, <laughs> okay. A little, little, I got to tell you this story. This is funny. So I don't normally have drinks that much. I have two boys and you know, they're, they're small. So it's like high C juice, milk, water. Yeah. You know, it's pretty much one of those. So when I'm out with my couples, this is like my chance to adult with them right <laughs> so this after, it was after the session uh it was a great time and the couple's like hey let's go out for drinks i'm like yeah let's let's do it and uh he asked me it was uh it was jess and phil okay or wait yeah 
I don't know. I don't remember the couple now. I, I'm, I'm almost positive it was them. Yeah. Um, so if, there, if you guys are watching, hey. Anyways, he walks up and he goes, hey, what do you want? And I'm like, oh, I'll have whatever you're having because I don't know the name of drinks, right? So he comes back with these three drinks and we're sitting down and I'm like, what is this? And he's like, it's an old fashioned. I'm like, oh, okay. So I didn't realize old fashions are pretty strong. Or at least this one was. And I drank probably like half a glass. Now, I mean, granted, the glass is like a tumbler. It's not, you know, that big. But instantly, I'm like, I'm feeling my face, and it feels like rubber. And I'm like pushing it up. like, <laughs> And uh, I'm like, is this a strong drink? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to sit this one out for a little while. You know, got to let this kind of soak in. Anyway, so it's just, it's a fun time. Uh Sit down and just kind of be comfortable. And then lastly, have fun. This is your time. This is your story. And you guys need to have fun. Be goofy if, if that's who you are. Um, really kind of let loose. You know, it's it, your photographer is going to capture all those little emotions and all those little moments. So have fun. It's pretty simple. It's, yeah, just go out and have fun. Just be silly because you're going to look back on these photos and it's going to be so much fun looking back on that and seeing how goofy you were and that you didn't take yourself seriously. Uh, it's really the best. It really is. So that's it, guys. It's uh, another short and sweet, you know, little podcast here, but I really hope it brings you a lot of value and I sincerely hope, you know, if, if my couples are listening who haven't had an engagement yet, hey, take these five points and you better believe I'll be communicating them to you as well. Anyways, I'm Brian Koss. This is the Cost Creative Podcast. Thank you so much for following. Please download these, these episodes. Please visit my links um, and see the other episodes and please support. Uh, the page. It would just mean absolute world to me. Uh, the affiliate links are coming and uh, I'll have all those listed for you as well, which will just kind of, it'll help you, but then also it's going to help me too. So thank you again, everybody. I love every single one of you. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. It literally means the world to me. And until next time, love each other, love yourself, and I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.